work it, huh? Yeah, there's, there's, two, there's two nice ones. Yeah, that back right one, the top top one is Him? nice. The guy's yeah. head up, yeah. I didn't even zoom in. I think. Oh no, that zoomed in all the way. Oh, and he's nice too. That just kind of the middle one. Yep. They're all rams. That's a little guy mm -hmm. in the back, huh? They're just moving in a group, man. That's how they work. Like they're just like stick together. Good eye, Keeks. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Six nice rams. Yeah, for sure. They're all legal. All legal. That back one is like borderline. Definitely something. There was 20 on the bluff the other day. I don't know if they were any were rams, but that's a good ram group right there. Cut that one in the front. Nice. He is sick. He comes down to his bottom. Yeah, no, jaw. he's like he's like three quarter curl. Five eighths, maybe. He's definitely five eighths. He's probably three quarter. So, so awesome. He looks like he might have the most mass. In terms of, but I can't tell because if some of these ones are coming out more, you know, from the side, it's hard to tell. Oh, there's one over here. Wait, is that the big one? What do you think? I don't know, let him walk into frame. I mean, those are way bigger than me, right? Yeah. He's just charging ahead of him, man. See, look at that. Look at him. Oh, I don't know. He's pretty big. They're all f***ing big. I know. I mean, just look at him like he's definitely more than half, though. Yeah. That one just is flared out. That might be that one that's kind of flared out that I saw. That was running in the front of the group that day. I don't know. This, this third one back here. Is I kind still of think nice. the front one. It's your tag, but I still think the front one's the front one. I think he's just got the most mass. And like you said, I think if you're closer, yeah. it'd probably be easier to tell. I think that front one flares out more. He's like this. Yeah. Like he's not as tight. No. But he looks like he's got more more mass too. Like right. The side, they look thicker than the other ones. Babe, all three of these at the top, I'm like, I'd shoot any, all three of you. Shoot all three of you, you'd be dead. <laughs> Makes me feel much better that we're seeing the bigger rams. It's weird because we hadn't even seen mini ram. They're still just down there chilling those ones, huh? You can see their bodies. Your whole group of these might be bedding down right on the shade line. 
Oh, really? Those you like me? As long as we're camped on the other side somewhere and we climb up to the top and we get up, we could look, we'll, we'll find them, you know? Mm -hmm. And it'd be awesome if we could have somebody else over here being like, there they are, you know what I mean? Psh, the back one's nice. The back one or the very, like, the top one? The very back one, the bottom. He might be. He's in. He's just in the sun, man. Oh yeah, you totally called it. They are right above that shade, huh? Yeah, laying where down. Big, where the big block of shade is, they're right on top of the rock. Yep. Sunning themselves. They're like bedded though already. Yeah. He's nice, too, huh? yeah. The broadside one. Yeah, no, he's nice too. He's small, huh? Mm -hmm. That came to a fan. That's gotta be them. <laughs> There's several of them right there. I don't know if they're all rams, but. I mean, they're better than the one we saw this morning for sure. Yeah. Definitely bigger bodied. They're just so far. I mean, they're not huge, but. There's a couple good ones. I want them up far left, like right here. Oh, That's yeah. Really nice. Dude, the one in the middle and the bottom looks nice, too. I think. That's got to be them, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. That's got to be them. No, five. Another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's the other one? This one? Are you counting that up there? This thing. One, one two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gonna do that one? Top left is pretty big. They're, dude, they're all pretty nice. Dude, she's gonna get a nice. Put you on the spot since you just woke up. Why? Because you have to tell us what we're doing. This is your hunt. We're gonna go stare at the fog. <laughs> a little bit. Then he's gonna take me to breakfast. What's the real plan? We're gonna go locate the rams, and then we're gonna go eat some breakfast, and then we're gonna hike in camp without disturbing the rams. That's the plan.
plan. If my legs can handle it. <laughs> oh, you can tell fog's starting to clear. And uh, that's where we're going to go up to this little edge. We're going to look glass into all the little hills back in there. And hopefully try to find those rams again and relocate them. It's a beautiful morning. That's going to be a nice day. Let's see if we can find them when we get up there. Almost to the top. This thing is a pretty decent little incline. You can see KK down there. <laughs> the car is back over there. Just in time, it looks like the fog is burning off. Should be blue skies back towards where we're glassing. That's a relief that they came back a little bit. Yeah. Well guys, we were here for all of two seconds and me and Hayden saw some sheep up here and a bunch of ewes. We saw the rams up behind those clouds last time and uh, we were glassing in. Now we relocated the rams around the back side of this bluff right here, right below those clouds. So. Kendra found him again, same group of six. So we found him again, relocated him. It took us maybe 10 minutes this time. Last time it took us like almost an hour to find him. Oh, he's nice up in the front. Got three rams spotted. A little nicer than the one we saw this morning. Tell us what's going on. We're about to hike in camp. <laughs> we got a ways to go, man. We got quite a ways. We got a full pack. I'm loaded down. Three miles. Hayden's got his. about one mile in 
about 30 minutes of hiking so far and it's been all uphill <laughs> basically hot. and hot well, we're almost to our first little climb just kind of up on this kind of bench right here and then it'll go kind of flat for a little bit and then there's another little climb and then we drop down to a creek bed make another climb and then it's kind of just rolling hills after that KK is crushing today. <laughs> She's got a big old heavy pack on. Her new Mystery Ranch Metcalf. Look at that thing. Woo! <laughs> Alright guys. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we're, uh, we're coming through what is the last big climb here. We're almost to the top. Just around the corner. A little over three miles in. Just past the first water source. There's really only like two. The creek down here and one on the other side of this ridge. And uh, we're closing in on our camp spot, so we're getting super close. KK's been crushing it. She's just been charging up the mountain the whole time. All that running is paying off, I'm telling her. Tell me what we just did. We just filtered some water for the hike out. I'm just showing my farmer's tan off to everybody. What's left? Huh? What's left? Um, like, what, maybe half a mile? And then just setting up camp. And then getting out of here and sleeping. Showering. That's where we're heading. Camp right there on the edge of those pines. Right out there. That's where we're gonna go. It's not too much further. We've been seeing lots of sheep back in there, all over this little hill right in front of you. So we're gonna be a little close, but not right on top of them. Okay, okay so she's ready to roll. Yeah, it's getting you on. You're on? Oh, okay. We made it to where we're gonna sheep hunt or where we're gonna camp for sheep hunt. For sheep hunting. <laughs> Words are hard. Um, but we're about four miles back here. Uh, water's about half a mile, three quarters of a mile away. Um, all the sheep we've seen are right over here to my left. We're shaded and kind of kind of blocked in here by some bushes, which is good. Um, so, I mean, it all looks like primo sheep hunting, seriously. But this is where we're going to set up camp. Yeah, Hayden already found a freaking elk shed. We were here for two seconds. <sighs> he was a nice little five point. A little raghorn. So, we're gonna set up camp and then get out of here. Got camp set up. Got the little REI tent. We're loading up on sunscreen because we're all roasted already. <laughs> we're gonna head out of here this way and then back down out. Farmer's tan. <laughs> Look at that thing. That's a mean one. It's bad. <laughs> I'm gonna There's wear a party to the wedding. <laughs> Back left, too. 
Well guys, it is the Friday before season. So we got about four days and came out this morning to go glass, scout a little bit. And then I uh, ran into the group of six that I've been kind of watching for about a month now. Uh, I couldn't find them. What was it, two weeks ago or last week? And I couldn't find them. Um, so it's been about two weeks since I've actually seen them and they've made quite a big loop. I thought they were going to head more north uh, when there were some hikers going into an area, but it seems like they actually circled back and came south. Uh, they're in like such a peculiar spot right now. They're like only 570 yards off the road in a very, very busy spot. It's just, it's weird. Then I came up here to our normal glassing spot back beyond my shoulder. And I glassed off back into the foothills where the camp is set. And I saw another group of sheep. And there is about five or six ewes, um, kind of a younger ram. And then uh, one ewe looks like she was kind of almost already like starting to get in heat. And there's a ram mounting her, or trying to at least. And he looked actually pretty decent. Now they're like pretty far away though. I mean, that's probably two, two and a half miles from where I was. But they looked like, he looked like a pretty good ram. I don't know how he would compare with the group of six down here, but I guess we have options. As long as that group of six, they're kind of close to private so they could get bumped down to private I hope they don't but yeah it's gonna be an epic hunt the logistics are gonna get a little interesting here because we already have our camp set about four miles in on this trail and <laughs> we saw the rams about five miles south of our camp not really accessible from our camp whatsoever. I mean, it would just be stupid to try to 
go from camp to get to them. We probably could just sleep in the car and shoot ones that way. He's my number one. He's, he's so nice. God, just constantly, like, he even ran up to be with the group, and now he's still back by himself. What up? <laughs> We're back. Look at all sunburn. What's up with that? Tell them what happened today. Give us a run and be like, it's day two. So, we're back. It's two days in. <sighs> it's not two days in. I was gonna say, what are you talking Well, you about? keep saying it's day two, <laughs> so I'm like. Two so days before season. Mm. Okay. Okay, okay. Take four. Take six. It's two days before season starts. <clears throat> We are at the gas station, getting some snacks. We went scouting this morning. We're having trouble finding the Ram group. We saw what, like, that group of views was 20, huge. Yeah, we saw like 20, 20 views in one group and then like 10 in another group. So probably like 30 issues this morning. No Rams. No Rams. Got and a little so. concerned. Drove up around to Heath's secret spot. And as soon as I pulled up my binos, the six rams group. So we watched them until they went embedded in the trees. We'll go back in later this like this afternoon, tonight. And then we'll watch them all day tomorrow. Hopefully they'll stay right there. There's a lot of people on the mountain messing around. So I don't think they're gonna go pretty much anywhere from where they are. And then hopefully we put them to bed tomorrow night so that Tuesday morning, it can go down. But my number one Ram's in that group, so good stuff. Yeah. That's where we're at, that's what's, that's what's happening. So we're just hanging out at camp. We're in our front country camp, so we're like right off the road. In, a, in the camper, so we hiked our camp in. You guys saw that last week. We hiked our backcountry camp in like four miles, so half of our hunting gear is out there. The essential what you need to hunt with are at the trailer camp, which is kind of like our base camp in the front country, so. And they're actually closer to the front country, which is nice. We're just gonna chill today. Cause we Stuck rolled, up on sleep. Cause we rolled up to camp at- One o'clock in the morning? It was about, about 2 o'clock last night. We're running on a solid 12 to 15 hours of sleep over the course of the last three days. Feeling it. Starting to kick in. Lots of coffee, lots of Red Bull. <laughs> and hopefully today, it's been a, it's been a, a good real, nap. It's been a real push the last couple of days. Yeah. people doing standing way too close to the edge to take pictures <laughs> there they go don't be oh my gosh they're bailing off the edge four of them went over the edge we'll see how many come back where are we at the glassing knob where we can watch the rams we saw this morning can wait till it gets a little little less hot and see if they start feeding out again tonight.
they've moved. I don't know, how far do you think that is? Maybe five, six hundred yards maybe. Over to the next green pasture and they're just out feeding. All six of them again. So they were up in this little meadow and they bedded up in this timber. Got a mosquito on my finger. They came down and now they're in this meadow tonight. We're about we'll one more day out tonight, tomorrow morning, and the next day. Uh, we got the big one that is in there. There's two not really There's good ones. There's the second best one. There they are right there. Mm -hmm. That's all six of them. He's that one now, the furthest mm -hmm. one out now. Him and then he's two. Yeah. Yeah, boom, boom. Yep. God, they're both so nice. off he went hauling butt into the timber back in between the two patches there we waited a while and he finally he came back out but we're still watching that group of six over oh, there in that green meadow Waiting all day tomorrow is going to be so brutal. <laughs> like the worst. The anticipation. Huh? The anticipation. <laughs> Yeah, I changed your heart, didn't you? Flip flopped. <laughs> I forgot we had those. Fetching Alfredo the chicken. It's so good. I've never had one. I'm excited. You've never had one? No, you had them in Yellowstone. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Anyways, we got the uh, 
I could run the jet boy in the middle of the camper. This is Hayden's jet boy we had to borrow because ours are back at the uh, backcountry camp. Works the same. Kind of grub down, hang out. Get up early tomorrow and go look for six rams. Six rams. And your boy. Give us an update. All right, so we're out here looking for the rams this morning. There's four ewes over here. Well, three ewes and a little lamb. And we haven't seen the ram group yet, so we're gonna make some breakfast, have some coffee, hang out, and see if they come out of the trees somewhere. That's what we're doing. So we found more sheep. We found. Nine ewes and two rams. But he's, and he's, he's legal. And he's decent. He's definitely not a first day shooter. I said he's probably like the last two weeks of the hunt. I mean, just compared to like those three in that other group we've been watching, he's, he's not there yet. But they're back in a fire backcountry camp. Oh. What are you saying? Two, dink, two more dinkier rams. Two. Eh. So look into you. So we gotta find our group of six again. It's like a game of cat and mouse out here. Figure out where the heck these things are. I'm looking off over into this stuff. Out in here. All the sheep are kind of right above that big shade out in there. Backcountry camp is like right over here. I was looking at all the regular spots, but I just haven't seen any yet. Update time. <laughs> What's going on the whole day pretty much? It's 5.18. Um, we've seen lots of ewes, and we've seen two rams. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. So, lots, two rams and lots of ewes. Lots of ewes. Oh man, where are these Anyways, guys? Anyways, well, I think we're gonna hang out here for what another forty minutes, thirty-five minutes or so. If we don't see them come out into one of these parks, then I think we're gonna go down the hill glass into where we have our backcountry camp. See if there's any sheep we haven't seen. That's the plan. Try to figure out something for tomorrow. Yeah, it's nice to have a whole month, but it kind of sucks not really having a solid plan going into day one. <laughs> After well, I, had, I had such a solid plan, and then these freaking rams decided to <laughs> toss a little wrenchy poo into it, so. We, like, we literally watched them. Like, till dark. Till past dark last Walking night. into the timber, just hanging out. Like, I can still see where I'm looking now, like, where they walked up from the grassy patch, yeah. through the aspens, up over the ridge. And now <sighs> they're just not there. They were there. We didn't even see them this morning in the same exact spot. Nope. Oh my god. I thought it was the same people. So, different glass knob. Sorry, it's so 
that's the plan. Looking at more ewes. Beautiful sunset. Look at the little land.